Joe and Kim Custer are providing much needed help to visually impaired people in the south suburbs. What's also remarkable is that they are visually impaired themselves. And Harry Porterfield says both of them are some people you should know. Ron Ross, R.P. Orland Clark. For a number of those gathered here, the world is either dark or difficult to see. They come to the Orland Park Church each Thursday for a meeting of the Oasis for the Visually Impaired. We um, try to help them with information and referral. We do independent living skills training. There's a lot of consent book magazines out there. Starting with just four members, Kim and Joe Custer organized it nearly 20 years ago. He is totally blind. She is visually impaired. Our main uh, verse is we walk by faith and not by sight. We feel that our sight may be impaired, but our lives do not have to be. The Custers run the program as volunteers without any compensation. Donations come from such organizations as the Lions Club and others who help to underwrite the expense. Members tell us Oasis has made a difference for them. I've learned so much at uh, Oasis, learning about uh, with the blind and how to get around uh, the neighborhood and how to use a, a cane. Members come from as far away as Oak Lawn, Madison, and Blue Island just to be a part of the group. A number suffer from glaucoma and macular degeneration. Apart from the state of Illinois, Oasis is the only organization in the south suburbs providing services to blind and legally blind people. For the Custers, Oasis has become a mission. With the things that they have to offer us, it gives you hope. We do it because we love to do it. Um, we are called to do it, at least we believe that. Joe and Kim Custer, extraordinary volunteers, and both of them, someone you should know. If you'd like to contact Oasis, we have a link and a phone number on our website, cbschicago.com. Click on links and numbers.